What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more Regulation D casual battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing the Steel and Fire type legendary Heatran on the casual ladder for Regulation D. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Considering we got ranked battles for regulation D's actually starting in about three days by the time this video goes live. So we're going to be having a ton of bangers and we're going to be having some of the best teams to use for ranked battles on this channel. So you guys definitely want to stay tuned. But this team is fairly straightforward. The only regulation D Pokemon on it is going to be Heatran and the rest are really, really strong. In their certain metas we got dragonite for our first pokemon for today's team preview rock and multi-scale and a silk scarf as item it's got aerial ace it's got e-speed protect and aqua jet you guys seen this pokemon plenty of times before it is so strong on the doubles ladder second pokemon is going to be dragonite's best friend it is going to be the shen pal swords of ruin focus sash ice spinner protect sucker punch and sacred sword again you guys seen that plenty of times in the ladder Iron Hands is in our third slot, and I love Iron Hands. Great for Trick Room, great for Fake Outs, great for dealing some big time damage. This one has Quirk Drive with Assault Vest, Rock and Drain Punch, Heavy Slam, Fake Out, and Wild Charge. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the Heatran. Absolutely love this Pokemon, great stats all around, and it hits like a truck on the special attack inside. It's got Flash Fire, the Choice Specs as its item, and it has Earth Power, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, and Overheat. Fifth Pokemon is going to be the Dondozo. Dondozo was top tier in Series 1. It is still very, very strong when you pair it up with the Tatsugiri. It is unaware alongside with the Life Orb, Rock and Surf, Terror Blast, Rest, and Sleep Talk. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be that Tatsugiri with Commander and a Choice Scarf to make it as fast as it possibly can. It's got Muddy Water, Icy Wind for some speed control, Draco Meteor for some big time stab damage, and Protect, or well not Protect, Sleep Talk for its final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that casual ladder, showcase Heatran for Regulation D. In my last Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video, we actually showcased Hisuian Electrode, and I, and I actually want to apologize for that video, considering we did not give that team full justice. Even though we went 3-0, I know a lot of people in the comment section down below were like, yo, Bullet Seed was for Annihilate. And I didn't realize that until after I recorded. I kind of just got home from work, hopped on, saw his Hisuian Electro team, and was like, I'm going to use it. So I didn't really look in depth for that team. I did not play it to its fullest potential. So I owe you guys a Hisuian Electro video for the rank ladder when it comes out. I got you guys. But we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against, oh my lord, Co-Star Flamigo team with Crocodile. That could be Anger Point Crocodile. That could be with Co-Star Flamigo. I've seen that before. They also have Indeedee and Hatterene for Trick Room. And they're also rocking out with Meowskarada and Sableye. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I could actually rip into Heatran turn one. And I kind of want to go Heatran maybe alongside with Iron Hands. Get off some big time damage. We do have Heat Wave. We've got the Choice Specs. I like it all around. Plus we got that Grass Terror type, which is probably the best Terror type for Heatran. Look at that special attack. 200. And then we got the Choice Specs on top of that. I love it. Back end, got to go in with the big dogs. We're looking to get things started off here with W. Actually, do we want to bring the big dogs? Yeah, we want to bring the big dogs. I was going to say, they have psychic terrain, but I do have ice spinner. I can always just dump on that terrain, get it out the way, and get going from there. So I'm going to lead these two Pokemon. I like leading Heatran here as well, just in case Hatterene wants to go into like a Trick Room. We can have a Steel-type Pokemon out on the field to get some big time damage off. And plus, Trick Room might, might help us up out a tad, a tad bit, right? Especially Heatran. But Meowskarada and Crookadilly comes out here, and Crookadilly, I don't know why I'm calling him Crookadilly, but I kind of like it. But Crookadilly over here has a sick shiny. I really like it. So from here, I'm going to Heat Wave across the board. It seems like the best play for me. And then, I think it's part ground type, isn't he? Yes, yeah, so we might have to fake him out. Or do I fake out the Meowskarada? I'm going to fake out the Crookadile. I'm going to fake out the Crookadile. So I'm faking out the Crooks. I don't feel like dealing with a ground type move. And Flower Trick's gonna fly through here. And. Misclick or. Or did you not think that. Flower Trick was gonna KO? It's definitely Anger Point. I, I, I feel like he did. They're trying to build an Anger Point team. And it just didn't go the way they planned it. You gotta use like a different Pokemon with a with a non-stab crit move. Actually, I mean that could have worked. Maybe Fake Out did too much damage. I don't know. 
But yeah, Flower Trick's just not the way to, to do the anger point. Yep, they want a Flamigo out here. And now I'm going to just win this battle. This one's going to be too easy. Come on, man. This is too easy. I could Thrasilize in the grass, which I think I'm going to do. Because I'm not trying to take that, that fighting move from Flamigo. Like a close combat. So, you know, I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to rip into a Wild Charge into the Sableye slot. Even though I know it's super effective onto the Flamigo. I just feel his Heat Wave can actually take that out. So, we'll see. So we're going to Terrasalize with Heat Tran, keep things rolling strong here, but that's kind of funny that they just like flower tricked into that, but I mean, we were pretty much setting up anyway, considering we faked out the Crocodile. It wasn't moving, it wasn't doing anything, and we were taking him out anyway. It ends up going for a skill swap, we have a chance for a perfect sweep here. Keens has a chance for a perfect sweep. He's going to co-star to save light and give up pranks, or I'm confused. I'm confused with what that, that skill swap did there. But that was a great terror type from us to actually survive that. Now Heat Wave's gonna come in hot here and do some crazy damage. Putting Flamigo on one. Yeah, Choice Specs Heat Trans real deal. Hits like a truck. And then we get the burn on Sableye. Give me a burn on Flamigo. That'd been sweet. The Wild Charge is gonna fly. It's gonna take out Sableye. And yeah, this match was pretty simple. Starting off hot here. Not that good of a match, but we take a dub all day. It was a good match on my end. No, just not on our opponent's end. So I'm going to go into the Heavy Slam. Go into the Heat Wave. Our opponent cancels the match. Let's hop through a second match. Look to have a better match. And look to go back to back. Second match coming at you guys. And you get some of them matches when you're on the casual ladder. That's why I cannot wait for Rank to come out for Regulation D. But sometimes you go up against an opponent that you are way better than. And it happens. It happens. But we're hopping into our second match. We're going up against very cool team. Greninja. I love me some Greninja. Also Ursaluna. Tinkaton. Uh, Brute Bonnet, Galarian Articuno, who has an amazing design. It has, like, sunglasses on, pretty much, it looks like. And then Chiyu as their final Pokemon. How should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I kind of just want to get ripping with that same squad, right? I feel as Heatran and... Uh, actually, I could go Heatran back and, and just go into, like, Dondozo or something like that. Could be pretty good. Could definitely be good. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I'm thinking of just going Don Dozo. Don Dizzly. Don Dilly's pretty good. We could go Don Dozo as back end Pokemon, and I, I kind of want to do that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go these two again, and we're just going to bring Don Dozo combo in the back end. Even though first turn priority, Dragonite and Shen Pao could rip up against this team, I'm tired of using them. I use them so much, but they're just so good. You're definitely going to be seeing them in Regulation D. They're just top two. They really are. You can't, you can't go wrong with them. They're going to win you some matches. So if, you, if you're looking to like go high ranks, I suggest using a team like that. If, it, if, if, you care, if that's all you care about is high ranks, that's your squad. Let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be, oh, God, that thing is lovely. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. The Galarian Bird Shinies are just absurdly gorgeous. They really are. But I can fake out one Pokemon. And uh, who do I fake out here? Articuno? Sorry, Articuno. I'm not letting you get shot off. And then we'll just heat wave across the board. Choice spec heat wave. Not playing around. Do we have to change typings on anything? Uh, Brute Bonnet can spore me. Um, I am going to actually terrestrialize in the grass. I'm not dealing with the spore. I hate spore. My most hated thing ever. Even though it's one of the best moves ever. Right? I, I love using it. I just hate being put to sleep. That's why I think they should nerf it. Just a tad bit. Maybe lower the accuracy. And go from there. Because the Moogus and Trick Room is just... Sleep City. Sleep City population all your Pokemon. But Articuno is going to protect. It's a lovely little protect. We're hoping he's trying to spore me here. I'm going to fake out and get nothing. Nothing out of that fake out. Root Bonnet's dead, right? If we hit it with, with this Heat Wave. And wow, we didn't even have to thrash slides. We outspeed it. So yeah, Root Bonnet's definitely dead this, right? It's not. Wow, what a bulky little guy. What a bulky little booger. What a bulky little guy. It was for close combat. Good thing we Terrasalize. This thing's rocking close combat. What is going on? I kind of forget the Galarian Articuno's typing. It's flying and psychic, isn't it? I think it's flying and psychic. Yeah. Uh, we might want to swap each and save him for later. Drain Punch, take out the Brute Bonnet, and maybe hard swap into, like, Don Dizzy. I'm down for swapping in Don Dizzy. Yeah, I'm going to swap to the Don Dizzy here. I just don't want the flying move coming in here, taking out my boy. 
So I'm gonna go into the Drain Punch. I'm gonna get rid of the Brute Bonnet, and then I'm thinking I'm swapping into the Tatsugiri, and then having my boy for later. So we Rage Patters, that's fine. We were doing that anyway. And, and again, I think he's going for the air. The Drain Punch is gonna fly, it's gonna get rid of the Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet's a goner. And Articuno, what are you doing? Are you Trickerman? You are Trickerman. I was gonna say, why, why are you faster? Or why is uh, Iron Hands going first? So. He ends up popping the trick room, and that Articuno is just, that's something else, right? Looks insane. And now this thing comes out here. A little bit of an issue. We don't like it, but we will deal with it. We will deal with it, though. We're going to hard swap into the Tatsu. And I'm just going to start throwing some Surf's across the board, right? And so those are going plus on the defense. Um, trick room is a little bit of an issue. I mean, it's, it's going to help out my, my Iron Hands later, right? Iron Hands can thrive with that. Same thing with, uh... Same thing with Heatran, but Ursaluna's got to go first. This thing is insane in the trick room, especially with Guts. It's probably protecting you, too. I hope it doesn't protect. I hope it just dies to the Surf. It's becoming hot with the Surf. We'll see what they want to do with Ursaluna. Probably a Protect coming out here. But we get that Commander Boost, plus two on all of our stats. Ursaluna goes for a Headlong Rush into the Iron Hands slot. That's big time for us. And if both of them in the Iron Hands? Ooh, baby. Big time swappage from us. Big time swap. If Surf comes out here, it's double hitting. It's smacking up. Ursa Luna's gone. That pretty much wraps up the match for us. That's game set match. No problem. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. Dandos is just going to clean up the rest of this match. Come on, man. That's too easy. That is just simply that easy. Greninja comes out here as the final Pokemon. We're still just going to throw Surf across the board. I think our opponent might just cancel. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, dominating match number two. Let's hop to a third and final battle. Use Heatran a little bit more in that one. Final match is loading, and I've been staying hot. Been killing it, trying to use Heatran a little bit more here in this third and final battle. Hopefully, get rocking with it. It's doing great. It's doing awesome. But uh, we've been having some quick matches in match number one and in match number two. But now we're into our third and final match. And I'm going to go Heatran again. Heatran alongside Iron Hands. It's an all-day kind of thing, right? I love the lead. We get fake outs off. We get some big-time heat waves off. I like it a lot. I really do. So I'm going to lead both of them. I am going to bring... Do I bring Shen Pao Dragonite back in? Or do I rip with Don Dizzle and Tatsu? Both have their plus and minuses. Should I throw him a curveball and go Dragonite and Tatsu Giri? <laughs> That'd be a curveball. But you know what? We're, going, we're grabbing this perfect record. No problem. It's no problem. Or we're, we should be able to win this game. Looking at this team right here. Should be able to slap up on this team. Heatran's going to be nice, but a little bit of a problem is going to be Cerule Edge with the Flash Fire. But I might just choice into a ground move, right? Ground move's not too bad. It's not too shabby. But choice specs, Heat Wave, mwah, just the damage is insane. It's absurdly insane. Imagine putting that thing in the sun. It doesn't even need the sun. It doesn't even need the sun. It does so much damage. But Brute Bonnet was actually able to soak because that thing is just bulky all around. Maybe have the Assault Best, you never know. I wonder who they're going to lead. Lucario seems as a good option. Delibird, 100% probably, is the lead, right? I can see Delibird. I could see the Sandstream combo. Garchomp, Titar, always great. Always good. Can never go wrong with it. Can never go wrong with that. Let's see who they end up leading. Give a quick peek. I'm going to guess Deli Bird and Lucario. I don't know why I'm feeling that. I'm just feeling it. Went 50% on that one. T-Tar alongside with Deli Bird. So he trans out here. Um, Iron Hands can fake out. Um, Iron Hands could just put the punchies on. Deli Bird, take it out. Uh, Quirk Drive's looking a little scary. I could Terrasalize, which I'm probably thinking of doing, going in the grass. And then, what do I choice into? Flash Cannon's looking, looking mighty fine. Looking mighty fine into this slot. And then I could fake out. I could drain punch here as well. I don't think I should fake out. I really don't think I should fake out. I think we should just get after Deli Bird. Actually, we're going to fake it out. We're going to fake out the Deli Deli. I'm faking out the Deli Deli. I feel like you, sometimes you can't. You cannot just not go for the fake out, right? You can't let your fake out chance go. Even though I'm thinking I should have went for a wild charge. I don't know. We'll see. And who are you terrestrializing? I'm choosing to flash cannon now. Is it gonna be Delibird? 
Cheetar. Hmm. Good thing I didn't go for a ground move, though. Oh, you're staying ground. Oh, okay. EQ City? Protect EQ? Could be the play. Good thing I did Terrasalize in the grass, though. And yep, the Iron B does go for the Protect. So Iron Bizzle goes for Protect Heatran. Do you outspeed Titar? Show me you outspeed Titar. I would like that a lot. That'd be awesome for us. I do. That's that's good news. This isn't going to KO, but should do half, right? Cool. So it does half here. EQ is going to hit up onto my uh, Iron Hands. And I wish I could choice in Heat with you. Know? Heatran's soaking really, really well, but Heatran might die here. Ooh. Hey. Hey. I don't know how to feel about this. This Freeze Shry. Oh. Freeze Shry is doing me in. And EQ is going to slap on me. Yeah, we are sitting in a tough spot. Actually, I have to take out T-Tar here. So I'll take out T-Tar. I'll try to get off this Drain Punch onto that. But yeah, I think Delibird just takes me out, right? Freeze Dry? I think they go Freeze Dry EQ, and I really don't want to swap. I really don't want to swap here. So this actually worked pretty good for our opponent. He withdraws T-Tar. Okay. And Amoongus is going to fly. Ice Beam's coming out here. Can you soak that? You can soak that. Love you. Flash Cannon's doing an immense amount of damage, which is huge. And Drain Punch should be able to clean up the Delibird. Okay, cool. Cool. Heatran staying hot. See you later, Iron Bundle. So we get that thing out the way. Okay, cool. Right now, Heatran's fastest on the board. It's faster than Titar. It's going to be faster than Zamungus. I just don't know their last Pokemon. So I'm hoping we can get off another Flash Cannon turn here. I'll take a little bit of buffet damage. It's no biggie. It's fine. We're hoping we can get off one more shot with, with the boy Heatran. Because Heatran could get rid of Moongus. It just did a huge chunk of damage. That was an odd swap there. And it makes sense, though, that we ate it up. But T-Tar's going to come back out here. And I feel as... Hmm. I mean, you can't rage powder me, actually. Ooh, I'm grass type. That's big. So T-Tar's a goner. T-Tar's a goner. So we'll go there and we will just rip into a heavy slam. And get rid of this here too. That's actually huge that we're Grass Terra. Rage Powder will not work on us. So I was going to say, they're probably just going to Rage Powder the shot. Yep. And it's not going to work on my Heatran. Heatran outspeeds the T-Tar. We're going to say bye-bye to it. See you later. Yo, Heatran thriving here. Match number three. Thriving. And yo, three quick battles for you guys today. Three quick battles. Cannot wait for a rank ladder. You guys will definitely have some better battles. But we are just tearing it up. We are just... Tearing it up. Choice spec Heatran. Making people quit. Because this, this guy's going to quit. He's going to either turn off his console or he's just going to run the battle. Heatran. Oh, a smart play would be the protect. But hopefully he doesn't protect. I don't want to lose my sweet. I could just swap in like Shen Pao or something. But yeah, Lucario's going to outspeed me. He's going to take out my Heatran. How dare you. You know what? I want the sweep. I want the sweep. I'm going to swap. I'm gonna swap. I want the sweep. <laughs> I want the sweep. I want the sweep. I'm not letting you kill my Heatran. I'm just not letting you kill my Heatran. And I'm not letting you protect and let Buffett's KO my Heatran. So I'm gonna swap in the Dragonite with the multi skill. Think I'm playing around? Don't KO me. Be soaking all day. My boy's bulky. Your defense is down. Get on out of here. This string punch is knocking you out. The card is so cool, though. Oh, you sash. You are sashed. You, sir, are Sash. It's okay. Now I can eat speed. We still get the sweep on that. I got you guys with the sweep. And I could have actually just stayed in there with Heatran and just doubled down. But Buffets would have KO'd me and I wouldn't have got the sweep. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So Aqua Jets can come out here. We could eat speed, but I like Aqua Jet. And Dream Punch. Come on, man. Easy recording for Gene today. Power through it. Dominate. 3-0. Heatran. Absolutely ripping. Didn't even use Shen Pao today, which is actually really good. I'm tired of using Shen Pao. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. Had some easy matches. Hopefully, you guys still enjoyed. One of the easiest recordings I had in a long time. Come on, man. That was just too easy. That was the definition of too easy. You guys are members. Leave me a LeBron James emote down in the comment section down below. And if you're not a member, definitely consider becoming a member. There should be a join button next to the subscribe. If it's not there, head to the link in the description below. There should be a link down there huge shout out to all my members but like i said very easy set of matches for us today hopefully you guys still did enjoy 
Heatran was an absolute menace with the choice spec, doing damage left and right with the flash cannon, with the heat wave, and was just ripping from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.